Episode number 63 of Business and Leadership Stories. I found an able comrade in, uh, and there's nothing communist about that. I found an able friend in Sachin Mandari many, many moons ago when he was actually traversing, doing his own version of the motor Motorcycle Diaries, traversing the length and breadth of uh, the Americas, North America, South America, largely South America. Wonderful countries like Colombia and Peru and Brazil. And he used to do a travel section for me. Back in the day, he was called the Odd Traveler. Well, things change, time changes, human beings change. Today, he runs the Story Coal and is a leadership guru, though he hates the terminology, <laughs> uh, who uses stories to teach us life lessons and help us navigate through our problems. Every week he comes in here on the business leadership stories and gives us a story and then ekes out a life lesson and a work lesson from that story or lessons, as the case may be. Welcome to episode 63, my friend. Yes, 63. <laughs> now you're going to have to educate all the people who haven't seen this particular TED Talk. Amanda Palmer right. and her TED Talk really influenced you very, very deeply. That is correct. Go ahead. Uh, Rishi, you probably know Amanda Palmer as a musician. Uh, Amanda Palmer is very, very successful at what she does. She is a creative extraordinaire. And she gave a TED talk, if I'm not wrong, about a decade ago. Talking about the eight foot bride. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 2013 or so. And the talk was called Art of Asking. Uh, the talk was super popular. It is one of the most popular TED talks of all time. It also got her a book deal and uh, sort of catapulted her career in a different direction, which I think is something that she wanted. Uh, the interesting thing is that in that talk, when she gave that talk, she actually put a box right in the middle of the stage, stood on that box and then asked a dollar for an eight foot bride. Now, the story is that she, when she was a penniless musician struggling, uh, used to paint herself white and in a bride's costume, stand on this uh, box so that she looked like she was eight foot. And she would ask people for a dollar for the eight foot bride. And that's how she was able to see through some of the tough days in Ingenious. her life. And even this was even before she started busking or, you know, playing in public places. She would just right. stand on that platform. Yeah? Correct. Correct. So, uh, so the germination of the talk, the art of asking is also from her experience as the eight foot bride as to how do you not feel embarrassed, hesitated when you are asking for something and what's the right way of asking someone, hence the talk, uh, title of the talk, The Art of Asking. And the interesting thing is, apart from the great talk that it is and what it teaches us, if you look at Amanda Palmer's TED Talk, I got to know when I was read this book called Talk Like TED by Carmen Gallo, fantastic book for anyone who's interested in communication. She actually uh, slaved for over 250 hours to cut the talk and make it into a 12-minute presentation. Wow. Not just that, she actually crowdsourced the idea. So she had many different ideas that she wanted to talk about. And then she asked a lot of people who were in touch with her or following her on social media, what's the best talk that I can give? And everybody said that, hey, why don't you uh, talk about Art of Asking? That's how the idea came about. And the best thing is that before she went on the TED stage, she delivered these talk this talk in small venues with friends with family uh, and, and everywhere else maybe like a hundred times before she went on to the ted talk stage so that's how she gave a cracker of a talk and became you know the name that she is today you know what they say about the beatles sachin they say they were an overnight sensation <laughs> and some wise man said tongue-in-cheek smiling yeah it took ten thousand hours of practice and performing nondescript small gigs, even in strip clubs in Hamburg, okay. for them to become a one-night sensation. Got it. 10,000 hours of playing together right. as the Fab Four. And then, of course, one song becomes eight people. Ah, oh, one-night sensation. Correct. Correct. So this is spectacular. Uh, and this is something that stand-up comedians have now started doing. 100%. Before the main venue, they would go and play smaller venues all over their city and try and gauge what the audience can say. So lots of learnings there from Amanda Palmer. The eight foot bride. You need not put a platform, but like Sachin said, you can take cues from her, right? 100%. I think the main uh, message that I have for our audiences today, people who are listening or watching, is that Amanda Palmer gave so much time, effort for this particular talk because she understood the value 
of the opportunity of being on the TED stage. But what do we do when we have an important communication event in office, at workplace, or as an entrepreneur, right? We generally rush into those meetings, last minute, some changes on the presentation. That's not the right way to do these things because if you actually prepare, practice and seek feedback and do that over and over again, uh, then you will see that the results that you get from these kind of communication events will be in sync with what your desires are. We come to you 8 to 8.30 a.m. in pure audio form on 94.3 in the FM band. In Mumbai, Delhi, Bengaluru and Chennai business leadership stories. 48 hours later, we're out in video form in its entirety on the Mint YouTube channel. So look for Mint. There's actually a playlist there called Business Leadership Stories where all our episodes keep going into and please tell us what you feel about this. Sachin Bhandari, apart from uh, me urging you to hire him <laughs> to uh, to coach you, uh, you know, in your work sphere, uh, I would also like him to talk about the community that he's building. That's right, uh, Rishi. It's very simple. Look for Sachin Bhandari on LinkedIn. Uh, and uh, Sachin Rizhi Bhandari is P-H-A-N-D-A-R-Y on my profile. There's a link which says get in touch or stay in touch. You can either subscribe to the newsletter, uh, get on a 30-minute call with me if you're a corporate to see how I can help you win with stories. But also I've started a community where people can come and practice, learn and practice their business storytelling skills. 90-second stories if you're able to narrate them with the right context and with the right kind of message. I'm 100% sure that it will help you in your career and life. So uh, visit uh, one of these meetings for free and then you can decide if you want to be a part of the Spectacular. I'm going to see you next week. Cheers, my brother. Look forward.